Welcome back. This is going to be a very long video, so I apologise right now, but I have put chapter marks in the description box and that'll hopefully help you navigate. In this video, I'm going to remake New Rally Cross. What is New Rally Cross? It's a maze style game where you take control of a little blue car. Your goal is to collect all the flags in the level without crashing into the red cars or the rocks. The controls are simple enough, it's up, down, left, right and fire dropping some smoke to confuse the enemies, but don't use up too much smoke because it burns up some of that precious fuel every time you hit the smoke button. Getting technical for a minute, it uses the Z80 processor, yep, that same Z80 that was inside Sir Clive's machines, the MSX and a whole host of others. The game fits inside a screen that is 288 pixels by 224 pixels. The main game area on the left is 224 pixels by 224 pixels square and the sidebar with the scores, the radar, the lives indicator and current round is 64 by 224 pixels. Right, on with the show. So this video is just going to be the the um, the sidebar part for uh, New Rally Cross uh, and as you saw in the, the introductory video uh, the sidebar is 64 pixels uh, across by 224 pixels down. So I'm going to go ahead and create, actually th there's a couple of things I, I've added. Uh, if you're not following the other one, um, I'm actually remaking this game in another framework mono game. Uh, so I've just taken the graphics from that project and here I'm going to uh, make them all um, point no filter. Uh, pixels per unit is one. Uh, and then apply and then that fixes everything there. I'm also going to create another sprite uh, So if I go to here, where are we? I can never find the sprite. Where is the sprite? Um, why can't I see sprite? Where's sprite? Uh, 2D, there we are Sprite. So it's just going to be a square uh, and I'm just going to call this background um, and background is also going to be that. It's also going to be point um, and then apply uh, and then uh, I can drag that up to here and I can, this is What's the scale of this? This is... Oh, this is just weird. Oh, hmm. maybe this is not a good idea. Okay, let me... Let me not do that. Delete. Okay, let me just go into Photoshop here. Um, so what I'll do is I will create a... Uh, Okay, so it's 64 by 224, create, and actually I didn't want to do that. I did want to do this. Well, this did this to me before. Okay, and then we do file, export, uh, and then we'll call this background. Um, let's put that in here. So we'll do show an explorer, and there, uh, and then we'll call this background. Save it as that, and then we also need to get uh, this here as well. Um, this is our radar view, which is 112 pixels tall. Um, and then grab these guys here. Uh, that. Uh, and then get rid of that. So now that's going to be the solid background. So we'll call this um, radar background for a lack of a better phrase. So we'll do save radar background. Save that there. Oh, the other thing I need to do as well is, so now I've got those backgrounds there, I'm going to grab all of these again and for the pivot I want it to be top left. Um, 
and for the background here these are going to change to the one pixel point no filter apply okay so now if I drag and drop the, the background into here you'll see that we've got this um, and if I make the main camera uh, if I make that 112 uh, that bizarrely will um, make that that size there, main camera there. Okay, so now you can see that it's, uh, if I go to the game, you can see it's the same height as the game. Because um, we're making everything, uh, the it's orthographic projection, so everything's the same size no matter what depth you're at. So that's our background, so I'm going to call this uh, sidebar. And then everything else is going to hang off of that. So we're going to have our radar. So that's our radar background. Oops. Radar background. Um, and that's going to be if it is zero zero. That knocks it up to the top there, but it's actually at um, the radar is. Uh, where are we? Radar bar, is it 80 down? Okay, so it's 80 on the Y. Oh. So that brings us down to there, which seems about right. Uh, if we compare it to the, the one that we have here, this is our sort of like star for 10. So that's that there. Um, and then for the other ones, um, don't really need anything for the fuel so we can just do add actually no it's okay it's fine um, and then the UI for this we also want uh, our fuel so our fuel is gonna be part of the sidebar so we'll put that to zero zero again uh, and then this fuel gauge is at 56 negative 56. I'm going to write eventually. Um, oh, that looks awful. That's all blocky. Alright, may need to do some clean up of the graphics, but we'll we'll get that in due time. Uh, it might be the importer, actually. I did see that. Um, compression, none. Uh, Okay, I think that fixed it, strangely enough. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, it was set to that, but never mind. Uh, the next thing we need to do is, um, uh, let me create, uh, uh, right, square. Um, this is going to be our fuel bar. So our fuel bar is going to be scaled a certain amount on the x-axis. Oh yeah, we need to uh, sort the... Oh, why is that not? Um, can I not change that? Can't change the position of that, can I? No, I can't. Uh, okay. Cancel. Cancel. Refer. Okay. Let me let me do it. Um. Okay, so that is the scale of that is going to be sixty-four because it has to be the same width as as the um, as that, but it's going to be uh, thirty-two along on that axis. But I can't. I need it to be oh, sort point, center or pivot. Pivot. But how do I change the pivot for this? Uh, 
Yeah, see, it's not letting me change the pivot. There's a pivot there. I wonder if I can change it. So if I do uh, create 2D sprite, uh, sprite square, um, call it fuel bar, uh, change it to be that, and then, no, I can't change the pivot for that either. Okay then. Well, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to delete that, delete, and then I'm going to create my own fuel bar. So um, the fuel bar for this one is going to be easy. It's width is 64, height is 8. Um, this is what I'm, so this is kind of what I was talking about in when I was on the the um, uh, the mono game uh, video was that uh, this is actually I, I can't use that one either. It needs to be this. Um, was that it's difficult to do some like pixely type things uh, in Unity and it's much easier to do it in things like Mono Game where you've got a little bit more control over the, the over 2D um, uh, games whereas the Unity just it's not quite as good for 2D Fuel Bar let's have it as that Okay, so now we go back to here. Uh, so our fuel bar is going to be one. The pivot is going to be top left. Um, and it is going to be point no filter. We apply that. Get rid of that fuel bar. Drag this one in. And you see that we now have that fuel bar there. Uh, that is at position zero, obviously. And the Y is uh, 64. You see that the fuel bar is now underneath there. Now the draw mode, uh, we've got that one there. Point mode, material, sliced, tile, sliced, no, tiled, no, simple. Uh, so I think I can scale it along here. Yeah, I can use the scale. But it's going to be negative, I guess. So what we need to do is do top right, I think, for this one. So uh, for fuel bar, where's my pivot? Oh, pivot's in here, that's why. Pivot, let's make that top right. For that apply which is okay so we can move that so the top right of that is there so we can go back to here and then make that 64 uh, uh, why is that behind there mm, okay don't particularly like that but okay so now if I scale it on the X, uh, it's still not doing the right way. <laughs> um, hmm. Alright, let's figure that one out later on. But uh, the colour for this is going to be the same colour as uh, this here. So let's go grab that which is oh, that's easy uh, color for that is just going to be that okay so you can see that we're getting our um, sidebar looking nice um, the tricky oh yeah we need the race cars there as well so our race cars are going to be um, create empty Put that at zero zero zero, uh, and that's got to be part of sidebar as well. And this is going to be our lives. Um, and the Y for the lives is one ninety two, and we need three lives there. One, two, 
three. And each of these are going to be at zero, zero down there. And then this one here is going to be at 16. And this one here is going to be at 24. Uh, oh, sorry, 32. What am I talking about? There we go. Uh, is that right? Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Now, the tricky one is going to be the text. So, for text, um, I want to create another prefab uh, and then use that. So, for this one, I'm going to create another one. And it's going to be called sidebar text. And sidebar text is just going to have. Um, Oh yeah, we need to slice this up as well. Hang on a sec. So this is multiple. I'll click on apply, spray editor, and then this is one, two. So that's twenty-two by two. Okay, so splice. Actually, it's uh, by cell size. Pixel size is eight by eight. That gives me that there, and then click on slice. Okay, boom. So that's us and apply and close it. So for a sidebar text, we only need to have, um, let me move that to zero, zero, zero again. Um, we need to have, um, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, <laughs> which would be 64 divided by eight because it's eight by eight. Oh dear, it's very late here. Just want to point that out. Can I take a drink of water just now? Hang on a second. Okay. Um, so we need eight of these. So I'm just going to go grab A and then just drag that out uh, another bunch of times. So that's our A there, which looks a bit chunky because of the scale, but. It'll be fine once we get things sorted out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this one goes to position eight and sixteen and so on. Uh, 48 and 56 okay and we can drag that out you can see that that's where our uh, our values lie okay so uh, all of these need to be brought out in the layer so that we can now see that above the layer okay um, and this is where our, our scripting comes in. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, allow the text to be shown when we we put it on the screen. Now, this is, hmm, I'm just wondering if we, we probably need to do two separate ones, one for just static text and one for dynamic text. And the dynamic text is the, pardon me, is the, um, what do you call it? The what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, score. So the high score and the score, and uh, also the round as well. So what I'm going to do is create a script here that will hopefully help us. So I'm going to create another folder in here called Sidebar. And inside here, I'm going to create um, a script called sidebar text. And I'm going to drag that to there. And I am going to open it up here. this to load 
how's everyone's evening or, or day whenever you're watching this okay so we need to know the sprites so we do public sprite uh, font um, and then this is going to be sprite renderer um, characters so in our art what we're going to do is I'm going to lock this off so that we can drag and drop these easily so I'm going to select the first font here so this is just the, the Namco font so I'm going to select that one there and then I'm going to select the last one and then I'm going to drag that into font and now you can see that we've got our Namco font all in there and then I'm going to do the exact same thing but this time for the characters so I'm going to drag that over into there and you see that we now have our characters 0, 1, 3, 7 um, and then uh, our sidebar text we're going to have a public um, string text um, and then if um, private string text uh, if text is not the same as text so if text is not the same as text we want to uh, delete it and um, reconstruct it so we're going to say text is equal to text and then um, update characters so we're going to do um, for into uh, oops um, what do we want to do here we want to do um, 0 comma and then I think I can do 5 here it will be 8 anyway uh, 8 Is that going to break though? I don't know if I'm going to get help here now or not. I think that might break. It might be an over, it might end up as like an overflow. Um, Substring can be simplified. Use range operator. Uh, okay, I guess we can do that. okay well let's see if that works um, and then we want to update the characters so we want to say um, for int i equals zero i less than uh, character dot length that uh, if i is less than uh, text dot length do that else Characters dot oh character i dot sprite equals null. So get rid of get rid of the sprite at that position if it uh, does not have something assigned to it. So if I put in one up, so the the number one and then up, that means it's not going to use five characters. So everything from the, the fourth character on is going to get uh, reset to null. Otherwise, what I want to do is I want to convert it into a particular range. So I want to say if, um, now let me do char text i, uh, if um, 
uh, minus a uh, int if that is less than zero, uh, greater than or equal to zero, or less than or equal to twenty six. Uh, character equals sorry uh, character equals font dot sprite equals font I. okay so what am I doing here all right so I'm saying take so the first if we look at the the font here um inside art so the first 26 letter the first 26 uh, values here are numbers or are, are, sorry are numbers good grief are letters so if I take the a away from the character that gives me an index value um, because ASCII is just an index value into a table that shows as a symbol which represents A, B, C, D or whatever symbol it is. So if I subtract that I'm going to get it in the range 0 to 26 and if I do get it in the range 0 to 26 I know it's now a number. I know it's now a letter. If I then do the same thing for these values um, then uh, I should be able to figure out if it's a number or not. So um, else if character is greater than or equal to so this is where it gets a wee bit weird so this is the what is that symbol there's a dash there so that's uh, that's 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 36 so greater than 36 oops Uh, I'm going to cheat and just do this because it's, it's probably easier um, than trying to figure it out. So that's 26, uh, that's 36, 30, sorry, that's 26, 36, Okay. Okay. Else if text i equals um, quote thirty seven. Uh, full stop. Thirty-eight, and then finally thirty-nine is the hyphen. Thirty-nine. Okay. So if I set this to be, um, set the text to be high score. And then I run the game, it should say high score. It says A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, which is not what I was looking for because I used I and I should have been using CH like that. But it still doesn't explain why that is. That didn't do that right. 
Because it should have said high. Oh no, it's I. It's going to say I. Okay. Okay. I didn't like that. Uh, okay. So I didn't like the dash. Oh, that should be or. That's an and. That's an and. Sorry. Boolean logic let me down there. Or my Boolean logic. Okay, so there we got our high score. Um, and we should probably be able to set the color as well. So we can do public color um, color. Um, and then what we can do is characters i oops dot color equals color um, so if we want to make this yellow we can make it yellow This. So when we run this, it should be yellow text now, and it is. All right, everything's good. Okay. Okay. Um, now the next question then is, do we make it so that it is universal? And I'm, I don't think that we should make it universal. I think it should, because I want to be able to have text that's uh, highlighted on the the. Uh, sorry, is elongate is aligned on the right hand side and just to make it less complicated it's a very simple game and I don't want to over complicate this part here so I'm going to create a folder here called prefabs um, prefabs uh, and I'm just going to leave it as that so create folder sidebar and I'm going to drag sidebar text into there Okay, so sidebar text, uh, I'm going to set that to be zero. Uh, I'm going to put that inside sidebar and. Oh, that didn't like that. Why didn't that like that? Why? Oh, because the font. That's why. Hold on. One moment, please. If we go to the font and we choose, oh, spray edit. I mean, do this for every single one of them. Uh, pivot top left. Do I have to do this for everything? Uh, slice. Automatic, no, by cell size, 8 by 8, and the pivot is going to be top left, and I want to slice, so that should be top left, apply, okay, so now everything's in there, okay, so our sidebar text, this is going to be our high score text, uh, the colour for that is actually going to be white, and the color is going to be high score. That's good. And then um, we also need um, the one up text as well. So we're going to duplicate that. And this is going to be um, current player. Um, and we'll change that to one up. And that is at 16 there. Um, and then the other one is the rounds one, I think we've got. Yeah, round. Um, and that's at 208. So I've got a 208. So round is 208. Round one. Uh, and we run it. Oh, dear. Oh yeah, 
fair enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, uh, if it's not that, else, um, uh, the the character number is going to be that plus twenty six because it's going to be an integer, and we know that because it's always going to be an integer. So. Um, Integers start at zero at index twenty six and change that to that. So no, this doesn't like it. Uh, it doesn't like round one either. Okay. Uh, ah, see, I knew that was gonna. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me just do um, int. Mm, what would this be? This would be minimum. This would be the smallest, isn't it? Yeah. So it would be um, math minimum of, I want max, sorry, max of clamp. Um, I want clamp. Uh, and then the value to be text dot length comma and then a minimum would be text dot length and then the max would be eight. Oh, I never moved round down. Current round is going to be negative 208. Okay. What's this K up? Well, that's that's not right, is it? Uh, oh, yeah, because it's plus 26. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right. Oh, okay. Um, so that's going to be actually, let's just do CH equals minus zero uh, and then this is going to be plus 26 right so that's resetting it to be zero so that's as in the zero to x range and then we're adding that to 26 so now we should get one up yes okay that does say round K1 though, which is not right. So, um, don't know why that's saying K. Uh, actually, let me do else if text. I equals space let's see if that gets rid of it there we go it's got rid of it 
okay. All right. Um, what else do I need to do for this? I think I think that's everything for the sidebar. Um, the only oh no, sorry, that's not everything for the sidebar. We also need to do the the scoring as well. So scoring is going to be um, it's going to be. Similar to the the, um, the current round, so if I go and grab, let me go to project sidebar and duplicate that and change this to side bar score. Um, and then sidebar text. So instead of having text, we want this to be integer uh, score. Um, and then that's going to be int score. So that's not the same as score. Um, Value equals, um, actually, it's going to be uh, score equals score string that, and then we do value um, probably don't have to do that but we are going to pass in value here so this is going to be our our score string so this should be exactly the same as before the difference is, oh no, I've updated the wrong thing. Oh yeah, we can't have this. Damn it. Yeah. Whoops. Oh no. Went too far. So we need to make a copy of this class and then instead of having sidebar text we're also going to have sidebar score text or sidebar score I guess. Uh, so we get score there and we do create uh, call it sidebar score and change that to sidebar score. Okay, now in here, uh, I wonder if this is going to let us, oh no it's not because I need to, eh, oh well, okay. So sidebar score, so if I take this here and I do copy, paste, oh yeah there we go, and I do copy, Paste. Yes. Okay. That's good. And then the color of that is going to be, I think it's bright red for the high score, isn't it? FFFF0. It'll be FF that there. Okay. Uh, and then it's going to be zero. Um, let me get rid of that. Remove component. And then instead of sidebar score we're going to have um, value actually I'm going to have private string there but I'm also going to have private int value 
and I'm going to say if value isn't equal to value, value equals value, uh, text equals string dot format value uh, I think it's that. I think you can pad by. I can't remember how to do this. Where's Steve X when you need him? Uh, Steve X can pass string formatting. What a great page this is. I don't know. I don't. Steve X. I don't know who you are. Uh, Steve Tibbet. There you go. Steve Tibbet. Uh, he is a software developer, occasional architect, guy who likes toys, email me. And so the, the link is there. You can probably get the, the link here. I don't know how many times this page has, has saved my skin. Um, okay, so I want to have something formatted to generate this. So it's going to be 1 comma and then 10. So I want to be 1 comma 8. Uh... Yeah, I want it to be 1, 8. And that's going to format it. Uh, do it as the, well, 1, 8, yeah, that's going to format it to be that. Um, and then text is going to be that to that. Okay, and then update characters. Then everything else just changes, just stays the same. And hopefully that should be everything. Get rid of start there as well. Get rid of that and okay. Um, so now we can have our sidebar score. We can drag that into sidebar, um, and this is going to be at zero, uh, and then the y is going to be at eight, um, negative eight. And the score is going to be zero. So if we run this, so that the high score is going to be zero. So if we run this, uh, that didn't work. Okay, so let's call that high score. Uh, and then, uh, oh yeah, okay, that's the actual. Okay, and then um, score indicator. Uh, score indicator is uh, zero zero f f f f, which is a nice cyan color. Uh, call this score indicator, and the score indicator is at twenty four. It's down there. So you see the, all the information that's up here now. Um, and we run this. Oh, because it's not changing because it's in my, it's not that one. Okay, so if I make that, um, right. Okay, so if we do void start value equals minus one. So let's change it to minus one, and then that way we'll get an initial hit. Boom, there we go. So if we change that to 5,000, oh, 500, there's 5,000. You can see that it aligns itself to you know, negative numbers as well. You can see that it, it aligns itself to uh, the right hand side there. There we go. Yeah, it blows up at that point because it goes over but yeah that's that done so how does that shape up with our sidebar i think that's pretty good uh okay so the next thing oh actually that's not the right color is it 
I get that color. Okay, so that's not the right color. So the current player is this color. Right. There we go. Okay, that's looking good. So the next thing we need to figure out is fuel. That's the next part. And then it hit me. Uh, the easiest way to do So I've been doing this scale and I'm like, okay, it's coming out from the left hand edge. Why don't I just do negative scale, negative one, and then make the X value zero. So now when I decrease this value, Oh no, wait, it was, was it doing the right way? Hold on, now I'm confused. Oh no, that was the right way. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, so I did a scale. Yeah, that was right. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I really don't know. I'm it, it, Again, I'm doing these things late. I, I should probably do them in a well-rested. Uh, but okay. So that, that fuel is working, and then when we get to this point here, we'll just color it red. And you see that it goes to red there. Uh, so yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, all right. Disaster averted. Okay, let's bring that back to one. All right, we're done. That's us. We just... <laughs> the only thing we need to do now is have some overarching script that controls uh, the sidebar, and let's let's do that next. All right, let's get this. Oh, what have I done? That's twice I've done that in this one. Okay, let's go into here and then let's create another script here. Sidebar. And sidebar is gonna have that. Okay. So sidebar needs to have a couple of things exposed to it. So I need to know the high school I need to know the current player so um, public uh, sidebar text current player uh, the current round uh, current round uh, the high score indicator so that's gonna be public sidebar High score, sidebar, score, um, what else do I need to know? I need to know the lives as well, so um, I need to know the lives, so I've got to have public, game object, lives, indicator. Uh, let's call that score um, player score. And high score. Okay. So on our sidebar here, um, first thing I'm going to do is I have a lives indicator so I'm going to lock this off here grab these here and drag them into there and then the high score uh, no. high score indicator is our sidebar score our score indicator is that the current player is this one here and then the current round is current round. Okay. So, um, what we can do is we can expose properties because this is going to be controlled in code. Um, so, uh, we're going to have public int, oh yeah, fuel, we need fuel as well. Turn 
fuel set fuel equals math uh, clamp uh, value and then the minimum is zero and the max is 64 63 I guess um, Need the fuel gauge as well. So the fuel gauge is just a game object. So I do public game object um, fuel indicator. So for that one, I can just drag fuel indicator into here, like that. Um, and then public score and high score. Uh, I mean, to be honest, we only need setters for these. You don't need getters. Because uh, we only ever want to set the value, because it's only supposed to be an indicator of something. So um, let me just cut that out just now. So in our fuel, uh, we want to say int uh, value equals that. Or well, actually, it would be um, percent is going to be that divided by 63 uh, float is going to be that and then we just set the scale of our fuel indicator so we can say fuel indicator dot transform dot scale local scale dot x equals pc and then we can do mathf clamp um, whatever that value is, minimum value, maximum value, uh, equals, oh, it doesn't mean like that, new vector three, and then it's going to be for the, that one there, uh, float y equals, So we set those values there. Um, we also want to set the color as well. So we want to say if value is less than actually uh, fuel indicator dot color uh, get component sprite renderer color equals and then it's going to be um, value less than 8 red otherwise color yellow okay and then the score is going to be fairly straightforward we just need to do player score dot value equals value uh, and then the high score is going to be the same thing. So it's going to be high score value equals value. Um, and then for the current player, uh, we can do public int current player. current player uh, text equals uh, and we can be fancy here um, we can be fancy if we can type uh, 
uh, and this will be value up. Um, and then the current round is going to be current round set equals and then we'll be fancy again and we'll say round value like that because it's really just a, a nice little uh, programming interface to let us set these values so we don't have to go to the individual ones we can just do sidebar dot and then whatever the the, the fuel system is so I'm going to create um, a little debug thing that, that will change those values in just a sec and we can see that um, see them changing okay all right so that is our that's our game there um, right uh, let's create a debug thing. So we'll do UI um, slider. Okay. So this is going to be our fuel slider. Um, and um, what else are we going to have? We're going to have a, well, yeah, let's just leave it as slider. This one just now. So this is our fuel slider. So I'm going to go to script create another folder called debug uh, and then I'm going to call this sidebar debug and I'm going to grab that in there uh, public slider slider Um, public sidebar let's make that at the top so in our canvas we have oops in our canvas we have our canvas uh, we also have our sidebar dialog so I'm going to drag sidebar into there and then I'm going to drag the slider into here. So that's our fuel slider. Then we can do fuel slider dot uh, value changed and listener um, uh, and this is going to be sidebar dot um, fuel equals whatever that is. Uh, it's probably going to complain because that is that value there. Okay. So our slider has to go from 63 to 0. So our maximum value is 63 and our minimum value is 0. Uh, we've got whole numbers and the current value is 63. Okay. Uh, and we do right to left. Okay. And we'll just drag that just a little bit further into the center of the screen. Well, actually, let's bring it to the top of the screen here just to test it out. Okay, and then where's the. Boom, let's bring that up there. Okay. So hopefully, when we slide this, it should move the fuel gauge there. And it's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, it's fuel bar, isn't it? Ah, it's fuel bar. Oh dear. So fuel indicator, not fuel indicator, should be fuel bar. Okay. So let's try that again. All right. So when we scale this, it did work. Uh, so when we scale this, that should move this this needle down here. Okay, that's good. And then when it gets to eight pixels, it should move it to red. 
There we go. Nice. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that looks really good. All right. And you can see that it's moving in full pixels as well, which is nice. So that's that's awesome. All right, that's working. So that's good. So the next thing that we need to do is um, update the player score. So our player score, I'm just gonna make a copy of this slider. Um, and for this one, I'm gonna say, uh, score slider. So this should be our shouldn't be sidebar fuel. It should be score equals that. Um, slider one. I'm just gonna drag it down here a little bit. Uh, the minimum value of that should be zero. Maximum value should be ten thousand. Um, whole numbers should be in value zero. That's fine. Um, and when we increment it, it should change the score. So let's see if that changes. So this value here should change. So if we go, no, oh, that did not work. I oh, didn't like it. Oh, because we never set the scroll side the slider. Okay, let's make it also as well left to right. Um, and then. Um, in our debug, we're going to slider, slider into the slider. Um, okay. So now, there we go. There's our score now working. All right. Okay. And we'll do the same thing for the high score. score is that okay we'll do that and then high score slider there awesome there's our high score getting updated that's looking good and then we get our fuel here all right okay so now the next one is lives so our lives indicator are zero one and two we haven't actually tackled that yet oh we need to do round as well and player um okay so let me grab that one there um so this will be our rounds one so our maximum is like 10 rounds or something 12 rounds i think it is um so um rounds and then the other one is current player rounds leader and so this is going to be round player okay so current player um a current player is one and two so minimum value is one minimum value is two current value is two that's right and then this slider here um there's 12 rounds uh minimum is one okay and then slider um this is our rounds and this is our current player So our round slider goes to there. Okay. Oh, that's updating as well. Uh, 
Could I drag and drop those two in there? Why is the high score moving up and down? Okay, well it's moving one and two right. That's moving right. That's moving right. score slider sidebar high score there's five sliders but there's only four sliders here haha -ha. okay all right so one two two three okay so this one is me one two three four that's why that's not working okay uh, obviously you'd probably want to label them correctly so that's the fuel score score and then I haven't moved this one down here okay all right Oh yeah, okay. So this is going to be um, 12. Uh, so this one, 0 to 63. Yep, that's the fuel. That's that one. And then this one is going to be 0, 0. Okay, so that should fix that. Sometimes you gotta debug the debug. Okay, that's that there, now over to there, that's one and two, and then this one goes up to twelve. Okay. Alright, that's good. Okay. I, I think actually there's a space uh in there. I think I made a mistake. So if I go to current round, that should be round that. Oh no, I don't want to attach it. Just wanna run it. Yeah, there we go. There's round 12. Okay. And so the last thing we need to do is the number of lives. So let's get on to that next. Okay, so go back to here and then for our lives we can do public int lives set. Um, and then we want to clamp it into the value. Uh, lives equals ff clamp value zero comma and then it's gonna be max lives uh, and then max lives is private const is three so we only want to show a maximum number of, of lives um, but it is one less than the value that you've got I think I'm okay with zero to three, zero, one, two, three. Okay. So what I want to say is um, for int uh, i less than zero, uh, i equals zero, um, i less than lives indicator length i plus plus if i uh, lives indicator i dot set active and then it's going to be uh, i is less than lives 
Okay. Right, let's debug that. So we grab this one here. Oops. Grab that. Drag it on down to here. This is going to be our lives one. Just rename it so that we can figure it out. So our minimum value is going to be zero and our maximum value is going to be three. Um, and our starter value is going to be zero. Okay. And then inside our canvas debug, we do public slider lives. Do lives dot on value change dot add listener uh, if it goes to side bar dot lives equals int f okay and then for canvas we then want to drag that across there okay. So the current number of lives that we have there is three. So um, I'm going to set that to be three just now. So we have three, two, one, zero. There you go. And that's our, that's our sidebar done. Okay, so we got all our code there. So everything can be changed. We can change the, the fuel gauge very easily. Um, we can change the player's score. We can change the player's high score. Uh, we can change what player is currently active, whether it's the first player or the second player. Uh, and then we've got our rounds and we have our lives indicator there. And everything is working as it should be. So the only one last thing to do is go to sidebar and in our project we've got our sidebar here we want to drag sidebar into um, into the, the prefabs folder so that it becomes a prefab itself so we can use we can just drag and drop that any which way we want and that's it for today uh, so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this one uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get timely reminders of when we we put up a new video up and um, if you like this video then think about sharing it on social media uh, or hitting the like button below it really helps the channel out i appreciate it thank you very much again and we'll catch you in the next one bye bye